video on how to take care of baby skunks 2020. Courtesy of Skunk Haven, we got these nice pamphlets that everyone will receive on purchase, when they purchase their skunk. We will also give you some Pet Pro Cleo's Choice Skunk Food. You have to buy your own frozen mixed vegetables. You can do this variety or you could do um, fresh vegetables and steam them. Squash, carrots, corn, peas, beans, different things like that. Broccoli, cauliflower, everything has to be softened. So what that means is frozen mixed vegetables, once they're thawed out, they're nice and soft. The food is hard, but obviously we're gonna soak it in nice warm water so it softens up. You only wanna feed your skunk about that much per sitting. Skunks do get fat, very fast. Because they're babies and they have a higher metabolism, you're gonna feed them this amount three times a day. As they get older, twice a day. When they're an adult, once a day, with snacks in between. Good snacks for skunks, mealworms, freeze-dried live, hard-boiled eggs, lean proteins like chicken, things like that. But for the first three to four weeks, we highly recommend that they're fed this, nice and soft. If they eat something too hard, their butt can prolapse, which is a vet bill you do not need or want. Everything is also in this packet. Thank you, Deb. Make sure for the first month when you're feeding your baby skunk that you add a little bit of syrup or honey to their food, their blood sugar can tend to dip a little bit low. So for that first month that you have your skunk, when you take it home, just make sure you're adding a little extra sugar. You can cut this back after the first month because you don't want them to get obese, but that first month is critical. Taurine, everyday supplement. It comes with a little pump. You're gonna do one tiny dab, one of the three feedings. Then when they get older, one of the two feedings. And then when they're an adult, one of the one feedings. This is an everyday supplement for their entire life. The Ferritone, this is for their skin and coat. This is given once to twice a week, depending on how much they need. Calcium, you're gonna make tiny little holes on the top and you're gonna sprinkle it on their food like salt. It's gonna be given three times a week. We recommend Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And grooming for the stumps, Veronica. Just like ferret. Ears gotta get cleaned, nails gotta get cut. For the first month, we highly recommend you do not wash them. You could wipe them down with an unscented baby wipe. Um, after that, they can be washed with ferret shampoo, dog shampoo, tearless baby shampoo. Make sure they're fully dry. Some skunks like to be bathed, some do not. Just gotta see what your skunk likes. Litter training them. Every skunk will be litter trained pretty fast. They're really good with it. You have to use recycled newspaper pellets. You cannot use cat litter. God forbid they eat it, they can die. So recycled newspaper pellets, Inside a litter box, you leave one turd in the litter box at all times so they know where to go. If you clean it and bleach it, they might not smell where they went, and unfortunately they might, you know, poop all over your house. So we want to make sure that they're litter trained. We're working on that now to get them litter trained. They just got in. We're making sure they're all dewormed, all fed good, and then we'll work on the litter training. Ryan, please talk about the dewormers. So we have here different dewormers. They are currently being dewormed and they've already gone through part of their medication process. What they're going to be getting, uh, they've already finished up this one. This yellow liquid will be given to you when you get a skunk packet. That you get half a milliliter per day for the next... Till the 17th. Till the 18th. 18th is when they're done. Yeah, so just a little syringe worth, half a milliliter, it's a one milliliter syringe. Pop it right in their mouth. It tastes like just, candy, so they actually like it. Yes, candy. they enjoy it quite a bit. Yes. And that's just once a day yes. until the 18th. And if you get your skunk after the 18th, we'll have a whole deworming chart for you and you don't have to worry about it. This takes care of coccidia and this takes care of other parasites like roundworms and things like that that we don't want our skunks to have. Um, toys, kongs like this, you can put some little treats in there. They'll have to push at it, move it around. Some Cheerios can fall out, you know, little things like that. This is well because they are teething a little bit and they like to move it around. The little, this Kong is great. Little toys like little balls that uh, ferrets play with, any type of little stuffed animal is great. They do need a bed. They definitely need a bed with a blanket. Maybe a little Indeed. stuffed animal. Um, as far as housing goes for a skunk, they are house roamers, but when you first bring them home, they should have their own area of the home to feel secure. Whether this is an area that's baby gated off or play penned off in the rest of your house or a large dog crate, they should be an area off to themselves. It should have a small dog bed, preferably one of the indestructible or hard to destroy beds, a blanket, their bowl for food, 
They're both for water and any assorted toys or whatnot. Something to make them feel home and have them away from everyone else. It's a place that they can be when you're not at the house, when they're getting ready to, you know, when they're getting ready to be house trained and things like that. And then when you come home, you can let them run about. And just, a, just a safe place to be. Don't be alarmed if you go to pick up your skunk and they run away. Skunks can't see very well, so they are scared. Until they get to know you, I would definitely pick up a sling to carry your skunk in, a little sack like people carry around puppies or cats in. Wear the skunk around you, carry them around as often as you can. Make sure you socialize them with the whole family. Worst thing about skunks, I hate to say this, is if your skunk bites somebody and they go to the hospital because they are a vector species in New Jersey, the state can kill them. Unfortunately, that is just the law. So when having your skunk around different people, you have to make sure that no one you don't know will be handling your skunk or you could just hold your skunk and have people pet the back. When you bring your skunk into public areas, the skunk has to be in a plastic transport cage. It cannot be out in public just by holding them like this. He cannot be out in public on a leash. He has to be inside a plastic carrier. Fish Game and Wildlife will give you all these instructions as well. And if you live in New Jersey, you do need a permit. To get the permit, it's $12 a year. You have to go online, only New Jersey residents. Some other states do need one, but that's, you know, we gotta talk about that with your state. This is our temporary permit we give you. It's $12 a year. You have to fill it out. There's an application online, Fish Game and Wildlife. It's the captive game permit. Fill it out. If you need help, you can always call us, print it out, bring it in. We can help you fill it out. Um, it is a little confusing because it is for game animals such as bear, pheasant, deer. This is a little different. It is a little complicated. You can call us with questions and we will walk you through it. Our vet that we recommend is Dr. Stansel. He's in Nutley. Everything will be on these instructions we also give you. Dr. Stansel's in Nutley. And if you need 24 veterinary care, we do recommend the Westwood Veterinary Clinic. They're open 24 seven and they do take care of skunks. You cannot bring them to Oradell Animal Hospital. They do not take care of skunks. This is the only 24 hour clinic in this area that does take care of them. If you do not live around here, you live in South Jersey or a different state that they're legal in, I highly recommend that you find a vet that does 24 hour care for pet skunks and have your primary care um, vet if you don't live around here. But these are the ones that are in this area. Um, yeah, we have different colors. Veronica's holding a chocolate. Actually, he's a chocolate scribble because he's got some white. Ryan's holding a scribble. We have maybe a couple apricots will be coming this year and some albinos. albinos. Yep. Yep. Okay. And I think we have a handful of lavenders as well. Okay, great. So we have a big variety of skunks. We went over their food. We went over the dewormer, toys. Um, no treat treats that are hard just yet just because we don't want them having a hard time using the bathroom. But once they get older, treats would be, you know, mealworms, little pieces of egg, little pieces of fruit. You just don't want to overfeed your skunk because they get very fat, very fast. I highly recommend getting them a giant wheel. They make cat wheels and they're really good for skunks. Teach them how to run on a wheel so they don't get fat. <laughs> and that's it, yeah. come see us. I think that about covers it. MJ Exotic Pets, come get your captive born striped skunk. Okay, say bye.